Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another plan with me. In this video I'm going to be planning in my classic happy planner for the week of April 20th through the 26th. And I was going back and forth about whether I should do a bookish spread or a go wild spread. And I finally decided I'm going to do bookish in this week's, um, at least in my classic and my mini. And then I think in my skinny classic, I'm going to do a go wild spread because this week was supposed to go to go wild, which I'm super bummed about that we're not doing it, but it's going to be postponed maybe till next year. I'm not sure, but okay. <laughs> sorry, my cat's right next to me. Um, but yeah, it's going to be postponed. So hopefully sometime next year, I mean, we'll be able to go to go wild. Um, but I did want to do some kind of go wild spread in one of my planners. So for now, I'm just going to do bookish, which is this new one right here and this one is just super super cute it has a lot of very colorful um, really pretty images in here I mainly got this book because I love the little cat yeah I love all the little cats of the dogs uh, but they actually had I I've already used one sticker in this book because they had a cat that was gray which is exactly like my cat that you just saw. Um, so I already used that sticker in a really cute, I think it was like my favorite thing spread. Um, so I already used that one. But I mainly got it because I love these little cat pictures. I love these, but I also really love these um, house pictures. Well, they're actually, they're bookstores. So I was thinking of using probably all of these bookstore stickers. Maybe doing a little scene on the bottom and going from there. Alright, so I'm going to go to those bookstore stickers since I plan on using these. Um, I was planning on doing a rainbow type spread. The only thing is that in the on, in these stickers they don't have all of the colors to do a traditional Roy G. Biv, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. But I'm going to just do my own little version of that here. Obviously, I don't have any purple. Or red but I was gonna use pink instead of red so I'm thinking of I was going to keep them all the same so that way I can do the same color coordinating up here with functional stickers since this whole bottom area is going to be taken up with all of these decorative ones so yeah I was thinking of just keeping them all together the same color but I also was wondering what it might look like if I mix them up but I'm kind of leaning towards just keeping them all on the same, like all grouped together in the same color. So I'm going to put this one here like that and kind of lay this out. I'm going to use a couple of these little planning guides. I have the, the new planning guides from Happy Planner. And I like to use sometimes like double them so that way I can see how it looks to layer some stickers before I actually layer them and then I have to pull things up because I know some people don't like when I pull up stickers so I need to be better about that but yeah I'm going to use these to help me out with spacing and everything because I want to make sure everything fits so I'm going to start with pink um I think next would be go would go orange if you were doing like red orange like the traditional Roji Biv but I'm thinking yellow because I only have one yellow and I only need like one more little bookstore right here. So I think yellow would probably be better on this side like this because it fits better right here. And then that way I can continue on this side and get some more of these planning guides. I really like these custom ones because they're just blank. I feel like I could just use a bunch of these blank ones. Um, so I'm going to go with the orange on this side. Let's get another one of these to layer on top. Another orange. And then I'll do green. And then the big green one. And then I'm going to do the big one. I could probably squeeze these a little bit closer together. And then the blue on the edge. A 
Okay, so I'll probably squeeze these a little bit closer together. But that's basically the layout I'm going to do um, for this bottom part. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick everything down now that I have it kind of mapped out like how I want to put it. You know what? I was looking through this sticker book and I found this. I love this washi sticker. These are really fun to add on to the page because it's, it's like washi. And I normally like to use the coordinated washies, but when they don't have... A coordinated actual roll of washi then having these in here is awesome because I love putting washi in my spread so I'm trying to use just this sticker book I'm not trying to pull in anything else I was kind of tempted to pull in some squad goals to get some trees but I'm not gonna do that I just want to use this one sticker book because I know somebody in, one, in the comments of one of my videos posted something about how they appreciate like just using one sticker book because sometimes some people they don't have multiple ones like maybe they just have this bookish ones so they like to just see how a spread would be made with just this one and that's the good thing about the sticker books nowadays at least the, the more recent ones you can just use this one sticker book and it tends to always have everything that you really need to make an awesome spread so I think I'm gonna add this really cute rainbow wa like washi sticker maybe on the bottom right here for yeah I think it'll look cute under the house it's kind of like a street so I'm going to add that on the very very bottom and then I'll put this yeah I'll put this like below this line and then put the houses right above it all right so I got all the houses down on the bottom and I love how it turned out it's super colorful fun and bright but yeah I'm going to try to keep like the pink stickers right here, a little bit of yellow here, and just go with how it's laid out on the page when it comes to breaking up the colors. Because normally, if I had all the colors to work with, I would just do each color in each um, section uh, when I do a like a rainbow type spread. So I'm gonna try to do it that way, see how it turns out. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but we'll see. But I did wanna add one of these long boxes over here on this side um I, I was thinking of this one but I'm not sure how it's gonna fit so I'm gonna first take it off and then put it on one of these little planning guides just to see the size and where I want to put it because I think I might have to cover up that this calendar if it yeah, because it, it goes right into it. And it's way, it's a lot wider than yeah, it's wider than this sticker. So I'm going to have to cover that up somehow. Probably with some shipping label paper. And maybe I could find something to put here. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to look for maybe a something to put here. If I do find something that I'm going to put here, then I'm going to maybe use this sticker since it has the quote on the top. I just don't want to have like two quotes right on top of each other. Um, so I might do it like that. I'm not sure. Let me look through this and see what I can find. Alright, so I think I figured out what I want to do. I found these really cute stack of books here and I like this one with the shelf so I'm going to use this one over here and I'm going to still use that same sticker I pulled and just layer the little shelf with the books and I like the little succulents because it it ties into the little succulents over here so I'm going to just put it like this over in this section so I'm still going to have to cover that the monthly box with something and I have some Avery shipping label paper I just cut it down to size I'm not super exact about it um, I just cut it to fit this area so now I can cover that up and I think I'm gonna start so I want the shelf to be about there okay so I'm gonna line it up to the bottom line right here this long sticker
Okay, so I had to do that off camera because that sticker just kept curling and it was just very hard to put down straight, especially since, I don't know if you know this, but when I'm planning, when I'm doing these, I'm standing like right in front of my ring light and I cannot get down really close to the page. So when I'm putting down stickers, I mess up a lot because I can't get close to the page and it, it makes it difficult to put stickers down straight. So that's one of the reasons why I tend to put stickers down crooked a lot. But yeah, um, I finally got down, that one down straight since I was able to get close to it. It's not even super straight, but it's straight-ish. All right, so now I can move on into the inside of this spread. And I'm just gonna try to put some boxes down, like functional type boxes. I can find some, they have these that are really nice headers that I can use. Ooh, I really like these. Maybe I can use some of these. Since I don't have very much to put when it comes to plans, I feel like I can use just a couple of places to write things down and I'll be good for the week. All right, so I'm gonna do that one there. I have a blue one I can do over here on this side. Actually, let me see if there's any boxes. Because I have these, I can use those. Oh, I like that one that says today. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one right here. Since that one's in the blue section. And then I'll put a green one. I don't have any plans this week at all. Like, I don't have any bills that are due, which is good. Um, I don't have, I mean, probably my only plan will be if I need to go do a pickup order for groceries, that'll probably be the only thing I need to do this week. But I'm still doing a challenge, like a planner challenge on Instagram. So I am putting that in here. But honestly, other than that, that's about it. All right, so I have that one. Let's see what else I can find. I want to find a circle or something to put right here. Oh, I have these. These are cute. This one says choose joy and it's in green so I can put this one right here just to cover up that notch because I don't ever really use those for the monthly so I like to use them that way and then I can put this box right here Probably do another box over here. I kind of want to switch things around. I'm sorry if I have to move stickers, but sometimes that happens. So I'm going to move this one up here. because I want to put an orange one down here and I didn't want them to be on the same line. I know it's weird, but that's just how, that's just how I like to do it. Okay, so I really like it, super colorful. I think I have all the colors down when it comes to like a box for each of the colors. Yeah, I do. So that's good. And I think I'm gonna cover up because I don't really care for those little images. 
So I think I'm going to cover them up with these circle stickers. Like that. So I think that looks better. So put this one right here. Okay, so I had to fix these boxes because they were... I don't know, I didn't really like how they were on the page, so I just just moved them around a little bit. Um, and I feel like it looks a little bit better. I do want to tie in this washi down here, more up here on this side, like something rainbow. I don't have any more of this, this washi sticker to put up here, but I did find this one right here, um, which is practically the same thing, just without the stars in a different size. So this one is really, really thin. It's like very, very thin washi. Yeah, it's super skinny. So I'm gonna add this to the top of the page just to tie in that rainbow pattern on the bottom. So I'm gonna put some up on the top right here and then I'm gonna go along the other side. All right, so I got that washi sticker up on the top and I really like how that looks because I feel like it ties in the bottom rainbow pattern up to the top and I really like how that looks and to be honest I'm not a super like rainbow bright colored person I prefer more this is more my aesthetic this like modern farmhouse but honestly every once in a while I really enjoy a fun bright colorful spread just to change it up a little bit because sometimes this can get a little bit I don't want to say boring, but I just like every week to be something completely different. So this definitely changes it up in my planner, and I really like how this one looks. All right, so I think what I'm going to do now, I saw some quotes that might work in this spread. So I think I might pull some of these before I start putting down some. Um, I do want to put down bullet points. So there's this one. This one says Book Lover. So maybe I can put this here. So I'm going to try it out on the planning guide first just to make sure I like it before I put it down. Okay, so I have that one that I could put right here. And then I have another one, which is orange, that I could use as well. put that one there even though I do like how it looks there I could put it in the middle I think I might put it in the middle oops up at the dreamer on the bottom okay, I'm gonna add in some bullet points so I'm gonna add one actually you know what I think I'm gonna move this one this book lover one to the bottom even though I didn't want to put two quotes on the bottom I think it looks better over here okay I'm just gonna leave it like that for now um, and then I'm gonna get some bullet points so I have these that I can use and I even have some headers let me go to the headers Okay, I was going to put down headers, but I think I'm just going to go with bullet points. Just keep it a little simple. So I'm going to put a bullet point on some of the empty sections so that we have somewhere to write. And a blue one. Okay. 
Okay, so I just realized something that I want to fix, and I'm trying to match up the colors with the houses on the bottom and the orange ones. I didn't do that, so I put green right here when I should have put some orange on this side. That's just, honestly, like I said, I'm just being really, really picky, and that's just how I want this spread to turn out with that kind of color blocking. So I'm going to change that. I found these little stickers in here that I can use to kind of get that color correct on the page. So I'm going to take this bullet point I'm going to put it over this coffee because I don't want the coffee there. Just like that. And then I think... I don't know if I'm going to leave that one there. I think I'm going to take this one off because I feel like two is just a little bit too much. Maybe I will take this one off. Okay, and I think I'm going to put an orange one... Yeah, I'm going to put an orange one over here. I'm going to take this one off, put this over here. Okay, so I think that's better. And I feel like I need to put one over here just to tie it in on this side. So I'm going to get the pink and I have a yellow. I think I'm going to do it like that. And then just do the same thing and put this bullet point over that book. And I'm going to take off this because I feel like two is just too much. Because I think these are a little bit bigger. These bullet points are kind of big. Alright, so I feel like that looks a lot better. And honestly, I don't need a bullet point to write things in. I'll still write right here, put something there. I write in the white spaces too. So I don't need to have a bullet point on the page for me to actually use um, the space. Okay, so I did want to add in just one more quote. The only one I could find though is this one right here. Even though I have the quote over here, it's the only one that's blue. Or just like one color that I could incorporate into this spread and keep with the rainbow theme that I have going. So I'm thinking of taking this sticker and just cutting the books off because I can still use that like that. And so I'll keep that piece and then now I just have the quote in blue which I can use maybe over here. Actually I'm going to try it out with this. See how this looks before I put it down because I'm not sure if I want to add this in yet. Okay, so I ended up putting the I like big books over this half circle sticker and I really like how that looks and I honestly I think with that I'm done because I didn't want to, I mean it is a lot, but I feel like right now I can be, it's okay to be a little sticker heavy. I normally like to do that. I like to have a lot of stickers in my spreads, so it's okay to, you know, right now because we don't have any very much to plan. I feel like it's an even better opportunity to try to use up all the stickers right now um, just to make it look a little bit more fun in your planner and then you'll want to actually use it because I really enjoy you know looking at this every day and filling in what I can um, it's it's something that's like a constant right now for me so um, I'm, I'm not gonna stop doing it I love doing it and I really love how this spread turned out. It's very, very different from last week's spread, which is just this one. I love this one so much. But like I said, I like flipping to a new week and having something completely different. 
Um, even though it's not 100% my style, I still really enjoy seeing this um, in my planner. So I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video and I hope if you like this video you'd give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you guys all in the next one.